Hello, hello, it is Dr. Chris Raquel and I am back again with a video for today. I hope you all are doing amazingly. I have a great topic for today, but first like, comment, and subscribe. You can also send me an email, askcrystalraquel at gmail.com. If you have any questions or concerns that you'd love to see me answer on video. So today's topic was actually sent in by Kate Chipata. Um, thank you so much. This topic is specific to individuals who start becoming desperate when they feel alone and lonely. So we cannot go through life thinking that, hey, I don't have someone right now, so I got to take what I can get. I am feeling like there are slim pickings. And if someone is going to show me interest, what I'm going to do is I am going to go along with it. And I'm just going to throw all standards out the window because, you know, what kind of standards can I actually have? There is no way for me to have a standard because I'm already alone. So obviously I'm alone because my standards are too high and, you know, I just need to just settle. No, you cannot. And I don't care how long you've been single, sig single. If you were single for one year, two years, five years, and in some cases, even if it was 10 years, you will still need to not be desperate. And of course, if you were single for 10, 15 years or something like that, you may have to reevaluate yourself. Um, what is your mind like? What is your spirituality like? Your emotions? Have you dealt with your personality and maybe some concerns that you have? How are you talking to people? How are you looking physically? Have you beautified yourself? Sure. But for the most part, if you are simply alone, sometimes... Like we say, God has you in protective custody, right? It may just be a case where it's time for you to learn more about yourself, grow, um, grow as a woman or a man. And there is no reason for you to be desperate, so desperate to be in a relationship that you're going to lower all your standards. No, you're better than that. You're beautiful, men and women. So men, you're handsome. Women, you're beautiful. Please, there is going to be the right person for you. Your point in dating is not to try to find as many people as you can find. Your point in dating and eventually marriage is to find the right person for you. And ladies, we see this often. We'll see where there might be a man. He's in a desperate situation because let's say he needs a place to stay or let's say he's okay looking or let's say he... Um, you know, it's kind of on rough times and hard times financially. So he really just wants a relationship and he will go with who will accept him. Ladies, once he's doing better financially, he can support himself. He's standing on his own two feet. Once that happens, what, what ends up happening is he, a lot of times, not all the time, but sometimes he may end up leaving that lady and find going for something that he actually wants. So ladies, you can't be so down and out, so low, feel so bad about yourself that you want whoever will accept you. No, you're a lady. You have a good character. There's You're going to find the right person for you. Don't worry about it. You know, God it got you. He got you. He is just waiting for you to grow into who you're supposed to be so he can present that man for you for you to select from so ladies please 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 don't lower your standards simply because you are looking for a man and men as well men find find a good lady right or if you see that the ladies around you're not really interested in them because that's really wrong right it's really wrong if you find a woman and then you end up just you end up just leave you end up just leaving her you end up just leaving her because you feel like she was not good enough for you. Look at the lady that you're looking at. Don't be desperate for her. Think to yourself, hmm, okay, is this the lady if I had, if I was able to support myself and support a lady financially, would I choose this lady? If not, then don't go. Wait until, build yourself up, men. Build yourself up to where you want to be, where you can support a family, and then start trying to find a lady for you. And I'm not saying you need to be rich. Absolutely not. But when you can fully support yourself and a, potentially a family, then go ahead and seek that lady because it's going to be really wrong because you're going to end up feeling resentful. You're going to end up feeling that the lady that you selected, <laughs> you're going to end up thinking that the lady that you selected is 
not good enough once you're gonna feel like, okay well she just accepted me what type of lady would accept a man like me in that position you know so i highly highly encourage you please do not become desperate just because you want a relationship you're gonna end up in a bad position because you're gonna realize that the person that you ended up with maybe wasn't the best quality you need to find yourself do not end up in a relationship just because you are desperate and lonely and you just want somebody you want to cuddle with somebody you want to post on instagram that you're in a relationship don't do that it is not gonna put you in the right place you are gonna end up feeling depressed lonely god has the right person for you just wait it out make those changes in yourself just begin to grow, begin to make changes, begin to evaluate your life, evaluate yourself, evaluate who you are, find out who you are in Christ. God wants to be able to bless you with the person for you. However, you have to start making changes. You cannot go through life thinking, well, you know, I'm just going to sit at home and, the, and person, a person is just going to come knocking on my door. No, make changes in yourself because listen, there's points in life where we're all, all lonely, right? There's times where we think to ourselves, you know, I really wish I could have a relationship. I want to be with somebody. Looking back, all I can say to myself is, I wasn't ready. You're not ready. Be happy that you're not put in those positions. Be happy that the person that is for you in the future is not here yet because the person who you are right now is not capable of accepting that person in your life. What you're going to need to do is make changes. I understand it's not easy if you're feeling alone. It is not easy. And I know, I thought this video is timely because right now the holidays are coming around. There are people who are going around looking for somebody to take advantage of because they know that people are lonely around this time. Please be careful. Do not get into a situation just because you're lonely and you just want somebody. No, because honestly... The other person might be doing the same. And when you both or one of you end up deciding that you're not lonely anymore, it's just not worth the headache, that person is gone. So listen, like I said, looking back, I see any time I really was like, you know, I really want a relationship. I would like to be with somebody. Any point in time, like, you know, it could be like, it could be, it could have even been for a short period of time. Any time that would have happened, I'm thinking to myself now, like, all right, that it was wonderful I wasn't with anyone. I had time to focus on this. And one thing that I, I did in my time of waiting is I pursued my education. I remember saying to myself, well, you know, I I'm, I don't have a husband right now. I don't have any kids. Let me, let me go ahead and do something else that I want to do, which is related to my um, education. So let me, I'm going to close this video out soon. And I just wanted to say, please, I understand it can be so lonely. Everybody or a lot of people want companionship. That is understandable. But you don't want to put yourself in a situation to where you're just falling for any relationship. The person might not be good. The person might be... This is another thing. When people are lonely, sometimes they start making bad decisions. So let's say you're somebody who has a standard where you want to be celibate. Then you end up... The, you end up meeting a lot of people who are not interested in that life. So, so you end up saying, you know what? Well, because I, I want to be celibate, nobody wants to be with me. I'm just going to go ahead and give it up. No, focus on your standards, focus on who you are. And then let's say you have that standard of celibacy and then you meet somebody. What ends up happening is this person finally, out of 10 people who came to you, is finally willing to be celibate with you and not partake in sexual activity. But you're not really interested in them and you they're maybe not up to your standards but you'll just say okay well this is the only person who was willing to wait let me just go ahead and get into this relationship no god has the right person for you something that i've found in my life i'm so grateful to be in my situation and to have my husband and this took time i met my husband when i was well i started talking to my husband when i was 33 years old i'm not saying anybody should wait to be ready until they're 33 but i'm just saying sometimes things take longer than expected so just because you're lonely just because you you want to be in a relationship you don't need to just take anybody who's there because it's not going to end up good for you you might say oh well this person is nice well i've been waiting a long time i'm i'm 26 years old let me just go ahead no 
You don't want to end up in a divorce. Just make sure you are fully prepared. Make sure you are working on yourself. Make sure you have become who God has you to be. Make sure you're doing something with your life. Are you getting an education? Are you working? Are you building your career? Whatever it may be. But let me know what you think. Do you find that people sometimes become tired of waiting, impatient, and then they end up just settling and end up with the wrong people? Let me know. And thank you to um, Kate who gave me this topic. If you would like to send me in any topics, please send it at gmail.com or you can put it down below in the comments. Have a blessed day. Bye.